Hello friends, welcome back to School Management System in Laravel. In this video, I will explain how to clean HTML themes because right now we need to remove some part like this part we don't need, search part we don't need, home contacts we don't need, we, we need to change this name. So let's go one by one, we can set up. So first of all, I can make a spec element here. I am using Firefox browser, so easily debugs. I copy, let's go to inside layouts inside because i already opened the websites means our projects already started projects already started like a database so i can show you okay let's go to here i find level control to mouse uh, let's remove this part we don't need these parts first of all where is the open this part so let's short out this part also so just need to remove these parts I don't need refresh and also we don't need a full screen let me remove full screen also we don't need a search let me remove the search where is the search first 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 so I can just copy Good step, search. Mm -hmm. I remove the all the views here. Search box. We don't need like home contact as also. So you can remove also. And I refresh. Okay, clean up. Now we change this name. I don't want to like this. So we can adjust schools. So let me search where is this so here there we can remove the images we don't need any images here text type here school management system so sms for the school after we can make a dynamic name inside setting let me make a centers Centers and make it bold. Excellent center. Font width bold. We need to make bold here. Font width bold. Okay, we can also make size because we like that. Okay, that piece of the goods. I just copy here and I can put here and here I can type start text align and center and we can remove this link we don't need this link so just type with JavaScript I refresh so this comes, I think now we can clean, we can remove also this is like of showing the up for front end, you see, I don't need it. So let me remove this also, okay, I think, let's go to apps, I think this one, let's make the comment, refresh, so now it's bad look, so we can understand easily, you see, I go to admins, so you can see it like a admin list. Let's remove this part, we don't need. Also, let's make some cleaning code, we don't need everything now. We can create a two tiles because one is a scripting, one is a style. So, here I can create tiles, and bottom I will create four scripts. This is the plugin dashboard plugin. We can move remove here, go to not remove right now. We can discuss later for this ones. Let's make a refreshing. So now I think it's clear, clean, proper. We need to remove also this one. We don't need it. So go to dashboards, admin, dashboards, just remove these parts. Enough. We can go all 
also like the parent dashboards remove this also part and we can make like full width 12 same we can make here 12 admin side also you can go like a students make it 12 you need to learn about bootstrap so you can understand what is the meaning about the call sm12 what is the meaning of call sm6 so you can understand easily so, yes, okay parents teachers and students and uh, admin yes. let's make uh, this highlights because the highlight is a big part about many okay so go to layouts admins inside layouts layouts inside headers i make small size and we see here our uh, types okay admin dashboards so first of all we need to go our themes html themes i already opened the html themes here you can see it i open these files so you can see the highlight automatic highlight so i right click check in the class which class you can using so he's using the active class i copy the active class i can put here class active inside active let's see the inside li okay, inside a uh, is the active class is the header inside a so let's refresh here because we are put inside admin oh sorry spelling mistake this is then okay, now proper active so you can see is highlight so suppose i go to admins so also we need to highlight admin suppose i go to the dashboard so we need to highlight this so we need to use a segment so let's search in google segment in lara segment in lara so first you can open the first link so you can easily understand so copy this line required segment okay you can copy and put here i can show you okay segment one so let's go to our projects and refresh so you can see the first segment means admin so this is the first one admin so we have dashboards so first segment is the admin so we need to find two dashboard segments so second one so that second one i can copy so you can see that so we can make a condition here if if segment request segment 2 is equal to is equal to dashboard so make a active class and end let's remove here and also copy this link these lines and paste here you can type here the second segment is admin and uh, let's make uh, every place this one so i copy and put here put here and put it teacher student and parents so you can see i go to admins so you can see the admin highlight you see so we understand where is we are we are there where is so we can understand easily so when i go to dashboard so dashboard you can see it here so this is about like active class how to work is a menu, side menu active class i have explained using the segment okay let's change this is the name dynamic name how we can change okay so let me go to our controllers app http controller dashboard controller we can add like data data type is a header, header titles and we can type here dashboard. I just call every place data here because we have a common files. Dashboards. So I go to layouts inside app and inside you can see it here title. So I can, I can put here dash like a very type with this variable it's not empty exactly. otherwise you need to work schools 
Let's make outside schools. Here is the no anything, so it's outside school. The school dashboards. That's what that schools like this. Let's refresh. Oh, generate the one uh, not error. You see dashboard dash schools. So when I go to admin, so not showing the error because we have already made a condition here. Like it is not empty. Suppose I can found like this variable, so we need to print. Otherwise, we don't need to print. So I have made already condition here. So it's showing the admin. Once we are creating admin controller, after we can set the added character. So in this video, I have already explained everything how to set up the admin themes cleaning and how to make the active classes and how to make a, like a header type. Next video, I will show you forget password. So anybody can do with a forget password. So we can do with a easily forget password. So do you want to like this video? So please like and do you want to see more like this video? Please subscribe our channel. Thank you for watching.